Stellar is my favorite website. I get the money on it whenever I can because the jobs are so simple. And you know, it's something that you do on a regular basis already. Whenever you use ChatGPT, let's say, it asks you for a feedback, right? If you give it a question like, what is, or just say, I don't know, peanut, and actually I misspelled that, but you know, it's gonna give you the answer. And at the end of the answer, it's always gonna be something like this. So good response or bad response. So this is where you get to rate it. Sometimes it's even gonna give you two answers. One is gonna be on the left here, and the other one is gonna be on the right here. And then you choose which one of those two answers is better, right? And that is exactly what you do on Stellar. And you get paid for it. OpenAI is never gonna pay you for it, right? So this is it, this is Stellar. Now, you can just Google for it. I'm not affiliating with it. Just Google for Stellar AI, and it's gonna be over at jointstellar.ai. The website is gonna look like this, and right out the bat, you can see that you can get up to $25 per hour by doing these really, really simple jobs. Now, why does this exist? Well, we live in a world where new AI tools is coming every day, right? And all those tools, they need testing first before they can just go out to public. And all these companies that are making these tools, they need humans to test those, right? That is essentially what happened with ChatGPT when it was just like firstly publicly available, they just rolled it out and then like the whole world like rushed to see what it is and how it works and they just, they essentially trained it, but they trained it for free. But that is something that OpenAI can do, not a lot of these other companies. So they just go over to Stellar, they pay the money, and then it's us humans that test those tools and we get paid for it. Now, it is gonna be better if you have certain knowledge about something. For example, there are multiple categories, such as history, as you can see, there's law, there's creative writing, there's sciences, but there's many, many jobs that don't require any expertise at all, because as you can see, no previous experience is needed in order to start doing this, right? And the pay is good. You can work from anywhere in the world. I'll show you that later on. And I'll show you how to pass the test that's gonna be here. It's not difficult. Don't be afraid of it. I'll show you step-by-step step how to do it. But first of all, I just wanna show you some of these typical tasks are gonna be just like this. You are gonna get two different answers, just like on ChatGPT, and you will need a judge which of the two is better. You will have to look at various aspects of the answers, such as truthfulness, relevancy, tone, and length. So that's gonna be the first one. The second one is if you've got any kind of knowledge in any one of those categories. You don't have to be an expert though. Just have certain knowledge so you can just do a detailed fact check and add any missing information. Now, what is good about this? Well, you're gonna use Google a lot, right? And that is what they tell you to do when, I, when you just do this test, this assessment test, and I'll show you how that works. But in a nutshell, whatever you have, whichever trouble you have while doing certain tasks, you can always use Google because these questions are designed so they can't be answered with AI tools. And I'll explain that later on, it'll make sense. The last typical task here is to just demonstrate what we've already talked about. You show or teach the AI tool how to do online research for a given topic, right? So you will be asked to come up with an online research topic and then capture all the steps you take to do this research, right? So that is it in a nutshell, not complicated. And you know, it's really, really good. And it's easy to navigate the site. It's easy to complete those tasks. Now, let's go and see what it takes to become a worker here. First of all, head over to the homepage, click on get started here, make yourself an account, just like on any other website, and then just click on this. As you can see, the test takes about 45 to 90 minutes to complete, but this is a complete lie. You can complete it in under 30 minutes, all right? And I'll show you how this works so you can be ready. Click on start the assessment, and then just click here. As you can see, refrain from using AI tools like ChatGPT for writing annotations, all right? Your genuine input is what makes this process work. You have to be, you know, they'll, they'll know. If you use ChatGPT, they'll, they'll just know. So click on the go button here, and then you will have the first question here. So the first question is, 
At what age did the father of the person who proposed the right to royalty and perpetuity in the Copyright, Designs and Patents Act 1988 of the United Kingdom die? And as you can see, use Google to research this question and then select the answer below. It sounds complicated, this question, but it's not. Let me break it down. So we're looking for the father of the person who proposed this act, all right? And we want to know, when did this father die, right? So that's what we have to do. So here are the steps. First of all, we're going to use and we're going to search for what the hell is this, right? So what is this act, right? I'm just going to select it, right click on it, click on search Google for it, and then I'm going to get a lot of these answers, right? I used Wikipedia for this, right? So you click on here and you see that this was some kind of act that was, you know, proposed in the United Kingdom, but we don't care about that. What we do care about is to find that person who proposed that perpetuity act. And this is this act. So royalty and perpetuity inside of that whole act. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just copy this perpetuity. And I just need that because when I go over back to Wikipedia, I can just click and hold control and click the F button on my keyboard. And down there, this is going to appear right now. I just have to paste that perpetuity keyword and it's going to find me all the perpetuity words inside of this web page. Right. And here you can see that this is that act that was proposed, some kind of section that was just included inside of that act. It was like related to Peter Pan, whatever. We don't care about that, but we do care about this here proposed by Jim Callahan, right? So that's the person that we're looking for. Well, we're looking for this person's father, right? So father, click on this person. And then of course you will get his own Wikipedia page. And then you just have to search for it. You can search for father, just like the way we search for perpetuity. But then again, you can just scroll and see like early life and career. And you can see here that he took his middle name from his father, James, who lived from 1877 to 1921. And that's it. When you do the math, that man died at 44 years of age, right? Now, you just have to explain your answer in two to three sentences. This video is sponsored by PR Boost. PRBoost.io is the go-to PR platform for brands that want instant authority. PR Boost gets you published on major websites, major outlets like Yahoo, Business Insider, Benzinga, and over 200 other sites. What's great is that you don't have to have a PR agency. If you run a website, you need a PR package. Adding as seen on or as featured on media badges instantly builds trust and significantly boosts conversions. No contracts, no monthly fees. You get fast, responsive support. And you can even book a free call to plan your campaign. And the ratings are awesome. PR Boost is rated 4.9 on reviews.io with hundreds of satisfied clients. Trustpilot, also really great, 4.7 out of 5. Click the link down there in the description. Get featured, get trusted, and get results. Okay, back to Stellar. So we have to explain the answer briefly, right? You can do it briefly. So it can go like this. I went to Wikipedia, find the act, found the act actually like this. So found the act there. And then I proceeded. I know why I make these mistakes. So proceeded to find the person who proposed this perpetuity act, just like this. And then I found the father of that person, right? So it goes just like this. All right. That is the first question. Click on the next button here. And then the question number two is going to be like this. So given the following prompt to an AI model, which AI model produces a stronger response? So this was the prompt, write me an email to my assistant, Catherine, asking to move my 11 a.m. meeting with Leslie to 4 p.m. So Right away, you can see firstly check whether the information here is correct, because this is going to be the most crucial part of the prompt, because 
we want to make sure that Leslie arrives to four, and at 4 p.m. and not at 11 a.m. So I can see here that I need to reschedule my 11 a.m. meeting with Leslie to 4 p.m. today. And down there, you can see that the output number two is actually giving the Leslie, you know, it's given her false information. So she would be there one hour earlier, right? So right off the bat, you can see that the output number one is the correct one. Click here and explain that as well in two to three sentences, two to three, no more. As you can see, it is really, really simple. You don't have to use any kind of tools. You just have to read through the questions and explain your answers afterwards. It's not complicated. And what's even better, all the jobs that you're going to get on Stellar are just going to be like this. You just have to read. You have to just think about it a little bit. And, you know, it's done. It's a simple job and it pays. It's really good. So time was wrong in the output number two. So that's it. Click on next. And then some of the projects will require you to be able to do creative writing. So please write a short story ranging from six to eight sentences about a group of friends on vacation. Said the story in Italy during the summer. Don't use chat GPT as well. So six to eight sentences. All you got to do is to get a bit creative. And all the other questions are going to be like this, you know, there is going to be like organizing, categorizing data into two groups. So your task is to categorize this data into two groups, electronics department and home goods department. Organize the numbers in each category in descending order. And that's basically it. Just read it through, understand the question. That's going to be half of your work. And honestly, I did the research to see are there any people who like are telling bad things, bad reviews about Stellar? I haven't been able to find that. I just found these and people are really satisfied. They got accepted like 10 days, you know, after they took this. And above all, this assessment test is paid. So you're going to get paid for that test. So that's beautiful. So yeah, just go and explore. Try it out. You don't have nothing to lose. It's a good side hustle. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.